morning dear students welcome to gurudeva online classes dear students in previous class i had completed fourth and present chapter now i am going to start a new lesson that is the light dear students in today class i am going to cover these points introduction light properties of the light laws of reflection and formation of image by plane mirror and regular and diffused reflections these all points i am going to cover in today class dear students as you know we are all human being we have total five basic senses sense of touch sense of hearing sense of taste sense of smell and sense of sight dear students from these all five basic senses the sense of sight is very most important sense for human being because we are all human being we able to see different variety of object which are present around us we are able to see different types of colors and we able to see mountains plants animals and we able to see clouds we able to see stars at the night time and we able to see the moon also dear students do you know how this is possible to see these all images these all objects to the human being because of the sense of the sight we able to see these different variety of object which are present around us dear students have you ever thought how we see various object present around us how this is possible to see different colors how this is possible to see different variety of animals which are present around us dear students how this is possible when we writing any sentence any notes how we can possible to read the sentences when we writing any notes how this is possible to read to human being dear students have you ever thought this point dear students if you say that i see the object this is wrong dear students if you will go from your home at the night time it is not possible to see any object any things which are present in the dark we can't see any object which are present at the dark dear students can you see any object which are present in the darkness we not able to see any object which are present in the darkness dear student this means the i alone can't see any object any things any colors dear student here we have to understand here which things is making to us visible the things dear student these points we are going to discuss in this chapter dear students it is only when when light from an object enter towards the eye then only we able to see the object if there is no light I mean we can't able to see any object any color dear student it is only when we able to see the object when light from an object enter our eyes in that moment only we able to see the things we able to see the object we able to see the color the light may have reflected from an object the light may have emitted by an object in that moment only we able to find out an object if there is no light me we not able to see we not able to find out which object present in the dark dear students you know when light falls on a shiny surfaces polished surfaces that is reflecting back that 
shiny surface, that polished surface acts as a mirror. Dear student, this mirror changes the direction of the light when light falls on it. When any light falls on a shiny surface or any polished surface, this is acting as a mirror. This light changes the direction of the light when light falls on it. Dear student, when light falls on a shiny surface, when light falls on a polished surface, do you know which direction, in which direction the light is reflecting back? Dear student, these all points we are going to discuss in this chapter. Dear student, we know the light is a form of energy which include the sensation of our vision in our eyes that makes to us to find out the object which objects are present in our surroundings. Dear student, when light falls on an object, some part of the light that is reflecting back towards our eyes in that the moment only we able to find out which objects are present in front of me which objects are present in front of you when lights are some part of the light when reflecting towards your eyes then only we able to find out which is the color which is the object present in front of you if there is no light mean we can't able to find out any object any color any things Dear friend, next point I am taking here, properties of light. We know light is a form of energy that light travels in a straight line from one place to another place. And lights that is form a shadow. Dear friend, the property of light is, first one is light is a form of energy and second point light travel in a straight line And third one, light can form shadows. These are the some properties of the light. Dear friend, when light falls on an object, if you keeping any opaque object in front of light, they we will get in the shadow. These are the some property of the light. Dear friend, next point I am taking here that is loss of reflection. Dear students, we know here we have two laws of reflection. First one, the angle of incident is equal to angle of reflection. And second one that is uh, incident ray and normal and reflected ray all these three all lays on the same plane this one i am taking here first law of reflection Dear sir, the first law of reflection, the
the angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. See, I will show you here. This is the mirror. This is the mirror PQ. This is the normal point. See, this is the incident ray. This is the incident ray and this is the reflected ray. This is the incident ray. This is the angle of incident. This is the angle of reflection. Dear student, you observe this picture here. The angle of incidence is equal to the angle of the reflection. See, this is the incident ray. This is the incident ray. Incident ray. The angle of incident ray that is equal to angle of the reflection. See, this when a light falls on a mirror that is reflecting again back. This is the angle of incident. Angle of incident is equal to angle of reflection. This is the first law of reflection. When this angle of re incident is 30 degree mean angle of reflection also 30 degree. Okay. If angle of incident is 60 degree mean angle of reflection also 60 degree. Okay, this is the first law of reflection. We know first law of reflection is the angle of incident is equal to angle of reflection. Which light falls on a polished surface that ray will call incident ray. And when that is reflecting back that is we will call reflected ray. Yes, right. First law of reflection says that the angle of incident is equal to angle of reflected ray. Here today I am going to demonstrate the laws of reflection of light by using a laser, protractor, some basic stationery, plane mirror and the screen. So screen is nothing but a white background so I had a small piece of cardboard on which a small box on which I have attached a white A4 size paper so this is going to act as our screen now what happens is this is the mirror and the first law states that incident ray reflected ray and normal they all lie on the same plane so that can be easily demonstrated even without the use of the protector and you will understand why we are using protector because the second law states that the angle of incidence and the angle of reflection are same so we need to prove that so here I am going to use a red laser right in order to support my demonstration and anything which you see in the mirror will be the reflection we are supposed to concentrate on this white screen okay so this is our incident ray the incident ray is this one which either this as y axis this as x axis and this will be z axis towards us so this white screen is nothing but x y plane and the incident ray and the reflected ray would definitely be on the x y plane and from here if you draw the normal that separates both incident and reflected ray you will see that all three will on the same plane here so I am shining the red laser from this side and you can clearly see the incident ray and the reflected ray as well. So incident ray, this is the incident ray, that is the reflected ray and the normal is here. And you can see that all three lie on the same plane. To have a better view, I have switched off the light in the room. And now this is very well visible that this is our incident ray, that is our reflected ray and here is our normal. And this point where the laser light would strike on the mirror, that would be the point of incidence. Dear friend, let us see the second law of reflection. Second 
law of reflection the incident ray the reflected ray and normal all lies on same plane same plane okay this is the second law of reflection let us see here i will draw here figure this is the mirror Dear children, see here yeah, the incident ray and the reflected ray and the normal all lies on the same plane. Dear children, when when light falls on a smooth surface that is reflecting back, the angle of incident is equal to angle of the reflection. This is the angle of incident and this one is the angle of reflection. Okay, dear children, this is the normal imaginary line. Here, in second law of reflection says that the incident ray and the reflected ray and normal lies on the same plane. This is the second law of reflection. Second law of reflection, that is angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. And what I have done is the same cardboard box on which I had fix this a4 size paper and now i have also fixed a protractor on this white a4 size paper so it doesn't move with the help of a glue right okay now what what my plan is that this is my plane mirror and this plane mirror i am going to arrange perpendicular to this plane of paper correct so i am going to put it somewhere here on the protractor and i would make sure that this plane mirror is perpendicular to the plane of paper and along this line right like this and now i would make sure that this mirror does not move so i will i will hold this mirror rigidly now i will pass the incident ray through here so it would strike the mirror and it will go somewhere like this so this would be my target point i am planning to incident the light at this point exactly at the middle point over here so that would become the point of incidence and this would be the direction of my incident ray so incident ray would pass from here it would strike and it would go like this right and i would be passing through this 30 degree right so in this particular case this is our point of incidence so this is our incident incident ray that is our point of incidence and perpendicular to the mirror there is always a normal so this is normal so that is 30 degree and the normal will always pass through 90 degree because from here the perpendicular line passes through 90 degree so this is our normal so this angle is 60 degree so i am making sure that the angle of incidence is 60 degree because this is 30 degree this is 90 degree so the angle of incidence is 60 degree so if i am passing a ray of light through 30 degree i should get the ray of light from the other end also as 30 degree right so let us do that through this laser light again i will pass the incident ray through 30 degree so this is my incident ray it is going to strike at the point and after reflection as you can see it passes through the 30 degree only from the other side this is 30 degree and this is the same point and look this is the reflected ray that is on the same 30 degree on the other side you can see here this is 30 degree so your attention should be over here correct have a look at it once again i am passing the incident ray from 30 degree 
it strikes exactly the point that we decided and there you see it passes from the 30 degree mark only so that means the reflected ray is on the other side of the normal and the angle of incidence and angle of reflection are the same so hopefully guys you have understood Dear student, these two law of reflection is applicable for all surfaces, including spherical surfaces also. Okay, dear student. Next point: What is lateral inversion? Dear student, when a image is appear, if left side image appear at the right side, if right side image appear at the left side that is we can say that is the lateral inversion dear friend you observe this picture here the right side image appear here left side and left side image is appear right side this is we can say lateral inversion okay dear friend next i am taking here formation of image by a plane mirror dear friend let us see this picture here Oh, this is the image. This is the object. When light falls on a smooth surface or plane mirror, that is here OA and OC. OA and OC are the incident ray. And AB and CD, these two are reflected ray towards the eye. Okay, dear student, when you extending. AB ray and CD, they, these two, these two reflected ray meeting at a point that is I. In this point here, image forming. Okay, this is the formation of the image on the plane mirror. Okay, dear friend, let us see some features here. Dear friend, when image forming on the plane mirror, that is the behind the mirror. Okay, that is the behind the mirror. And see how much distance from the mirror. How much distance an image from the mirror and object equal distance we are getting from the mirror to image. Okay, dear friend, see how much size, how much size and how much length of the image. The same size we are getting as a image. Dear friend, image is erect and laterally inverted. Okay, dear friend, these are the some features when image form on the surface of the plane mirror. Okay, dear friend, next point I am taking here regular and diffuse reflections. Let us see here regular and diffuse reflection. Dear friend, when a light falls on a Polyester surface or smooth surface when incident light falls on it, when incident ray is falls on a plane mirror or polyester surface or smooth surface that is reflecting with a parallel lines that is we call regular reflection. When parallel ray of light falls on a rough surface. When parallel ray of light falls on a rough surface, those are not reflecting with parallel. Those are we will call uh, refused reflections. Okay, so you observe this picture here. Parallel ray of light falls on a rough surface. When reflecting, we are direction is different to each other. Those are not parallel. This that is we will call diffused reflection. Okay, dear friend, in today's class, I discussed here light, properties of the light and loss of reflection and formation of the image on the plane mirror and regular and irregular reflection. Dear friend, remaining point, I will continue in tomorrow's class. Thank you.